Hi Sandro, thank you for uh, putting up this video and asking these questions to me. I think they are very, very good questions and I think they are the key questions to every composer which, whom you are going to play. And with Mozart especially, I think it's very important that you look exactly at the structure of the music because sometimes you have just notes which you don't know how to put and where they would lead to and then you have other notes that are very important especially when you play a piano concerto sometimes it's even much more important what the orchestra is doing than what you yourself is doing so I think you're doing very well and this is every, everything is very well played you have to be careful on what sense the things have that you are saying in comparison to what the orchestra is saying. So if I refer to the place you were playing to me, this uh, and so on. While you are doing this, the orchestra plays. So this is more important than what you are doing. So take it a little bit back in sound and don't don't try to be always very important because sometimes you are and sometimes you are not. Second thing is you have this thing four times in a row. It starts in, in, in E flat major, then it goes to F minor and so on, it goes up. So you can uh, allow yourself to start a little bit softer and then build it up. So every time it's a little bit louder because it is the same thing, just one note higher. Then if you look more uh, detailed into the structure of the music, you will find very little things which are incredibly important. And if you put the focus on this, then you will make your playing much more interesting. Listen to this. And now listen to this. Refer to what you said before. So I think if you give, if you put your attention at this motif, which the right hand plays, they're actually the same. And they both have the, the sense to start the modulation. We come from, a, from E flat major, modulation, and then the same thing, and so on. So this is always what, what is important. And one very, very important advice is find the notes which are important and show them. And the ones which are not so important, don't show them so much. Then you give the listener the chance to follow in, in a row of importance. And this would make the music much more interesting. Last comment from my side. You asked about the mystery and the emotions and the style. I think three answers to this. First of all, mystery is there. Every great composer, every great composition is a mystery. We don't know how one human being would be able or was able to invent such a fabulous thing. Second, emotion. Emotion is in every composer, in, in every composition. It's needed and it's there no matter if you play Rachmaninoff or if you, if you play Mozart. So what stays is the third question, and this is style. So with Mozart, to show your emotion, you just have to use different tools than when you want to show emotions in Rachmaninoff's music. Go back to the style, listen to instruments of the time, listen a lot to recordings of people who play on ins instruments of this style, who have really learn this style and know, have all the knowledge from all the sources from the time. Uh, it might be uh, Leopold Mozart or it could be Turk or it could be Quantz or whoever those people were at that time who wrote theoretical material on how this music has to be played. Look at this, get as much information as possible and use these tools which you learn from that in order to uh, show your emotions and don't put your emotions on top of the piece. 
I think if you, I hope it wasn't too much for you. If you have any questions, if it was too complicated answer for you, if it was probably too much theoretically for you, then upload another video, video ask me more questions. Maybe you try to, to focus on the things which I told you with the motives and with building it up and with thinking what at the same time the orchestra plays and once you think you are uh, you have captured everything I told you, you upload another video and I'll be very happy to respond to it as soon as possible. Good luck, thank you.